G'day guys, Sci-Fi <coughs> back again. <coughs> Sorry, frog in my throat. Or pork in my throat. Ah. <coughs> Anyways, yeah, Sci-Fi back again with another video. The two pack that you can pick up. That was supposedly part of the Last Jedi line with uh, an Imperial Probe droid and Darth Vader. Not bad. There's the box. Don't know why. They don't even mention the Last Jedi on this box, but that's cool. They came out in these in this set, and it's quite nice. Uh, to a point, I actually sent one for my mate Manny, MG Villain. Uh, for his birthday because he liked it and he got it he just did a video of it very quickly yeah mate so happy belated birthday there you go that's yours and I've got mine it's not a bad figure but yeah let's look at the box nice picture on the front of a probe droid or also known back in the day especially the um the Trading cards, they called them probots a lot. And yeah, I ninjaed mine out of the box. Ha, <laughs> but I won't go back. Picture of Mr. Vader. And of course, all of your doodads and what they do. Probe droid, Mr. Vader, who I've got hundreds of. And of course, your Force Link, if you are so inclined to play with the Force Link. I am not. That's cool. Chuck that away. So there we go. Let's get closer. <clears throat> Let's look at Vader first. Darth Vader. Another five point of articulation. It's still not bad. Um, I am going to use him. He'll be sitting in my uh, Rogue One display. I don't have one for him. I've got Vaders everywhere and anywhere in my house, but I don't have a three, three quarter inch in my Rogue One. So bingo, thank you Darth, you stay, we will go there, look at this, this is unreal, this is cool, what a cool version of the probe droid, I mean it that way because I will do a comparison in a minute, I have an old Force, or, uh, not Force Awakens, shit, um, a Power of the Force, so everything from top to bottom, these, whoop, pop down and up, it's cool. It's black, which is what they were in the movie. And a lot more menacing. Also, a lot of these legs, you can manipulate them, move them. Even the tiny claws go here and there and everywhere. And what not. I like it. And it comes with a stand. This time it actually makes it, gives it that levitation look. I like it. It's fantastic. All designed. That's a cool. Go. As I said before, yeah. Arms move up and down. Claws move. I won't do it because it takes two hands. It's a bit stiff. I just got it out of the box. <coughs> and again, comparison. Here's the old. The good old Power of the Force 1998 version. Now I've made sure that the legs, again you've got to make sure that the legs all sit so it's all square. There's no stand. Also the stand again has the Imperial logo on it. There we go, it's very well hidden. I did not know that. Manny pointed that out to me in his video. Did not realise, yeah. So there we go. Uh, it came with a big giant red missile. This one here, sorry. Talking about the old Power of the Force one. Those don't move. Had a big giant red missile that you hit something. I don't know where, because I chucked the missile. I don't like those red missiles and all those vehicles. They just ruin the display. And if you notice, here's an orange thing somewhere if I hit something or whatever and pop goes the weasel the whole thing blows up supposedly well you know playability that's what it's all about it's not bad but yeah <coughs> not as good as that see good comparison 
Um, yeah, the legs they do move, but of course it doesn't let it. Yeah, there's no stand for it. You got to make it stand on its own. It's pretty cool. So I'm just wondering. I'm, I really don't want to part with this one. Where on earth, in any other Star Wars movie, I'm talking Rogue One, Clone Wars, where do these guys appear? This looks like a Clone Wars one now. Do they appear in Rogue One, or maybe that's the reason why these two box sets. I mean, seriously. We had the only Last Jedi two box set was a uh, Ray and Praetorian Guard. Um, the other box set was a Rathtar and the, the bad guy, the gangster fella, forget his name off the top of my head. And yeah, this one, and uh, Boba Fett and Han Solo. So maybe this, maybe this is, this one's a, <coughs> did, just, just need you to answer me a question, guys down there. Um... The probe did was a probe droid in Rogue One. I can't remember. If so, I'll go my Rogue One set. If not, we'll go my Clone Wars because I definitely know Clone Wars had probe droids. There you go. Anyways, chatting on. I like it. It's all cool. Yeah, it has a firing mechanism as well. The thing is, in this case, you can't see it. I won't pop it out because it springs out quite well. I want to keep it. Yeah, you hit that, just push it down like a lever, and phew, off it goes. Leave it there. Leave it where it is. All right, so that's about it for me. Um, another early morning shift tomorrow. Four lates, and I've got another Black Series figure to show off, um, which I've managed to find. Not the version I wanted, but still it's pretty good. But anyways, what do you guys think? Alright guys, sci-fi out, the force is with you, I will um, check out all your videos if, as much as I can, there's been quite a few videos out, and I will answer all your comments to the best of my ability, and all that sort of stuff, I know there's a few comments down below from my other video, my A-Wing fighter, everyone seems to like that one, that's cool. Alright, the force is with you, always.